I check in with Brent Weisberg, who's been at the scene near the interstate bridge for hours. He joins us with the very latest. Hey, good morning, you guys. Uh, the semi that tipped over around 2.15 this morning, it has been towed from the scene, but we're still seeing a big delay right now because WashDOT and ODOT working together trying to do the cleanup process, and then they have to test the bridge to make sure that all the safety aspects are still in place. And to describe more on that, I want to bring in Bart Therese. He is with WashDOT. Bart, tell us a little bit about what is happening right now. So they're finishing the cleanup on the bridge deck itself, but ODOT is working with their electricians, making sure all the safety systems that keep people from walking on the bridge when they're opening the bridge, to keep drivers from going southbound on the bridge, are in place when they do need to open that bridge. That's going to involve test lifts of that southbound span. Northbound span won't be affected, but just southbound. They're going to test that to make sure they know what's what's working, what needs to be repaired. After that, we have a clear picture of what to expect and when we can open this up to traffic. What were some of the major difficulties that crews had this morning uh, getting that vehicle upright, that semi, and then also just cleaning up all that broken glass from the uh, empty wine bottles that were inside that semi? It would be a different story if those wine bottles were full because that's a lot of liquid to clean up. But they were empty, and that truck, the cargo part of that truck was ripped open, and so those bottles would spill out if you tried to pull that uh, pull that upright. So securing all that stuff, getting them out of the truck was, was a big piece, and we had folks uh, grabbing boxes like they were stocking store shelves to get them out to make sure that wouldn't fall onto the road and create even more of a mess. But they got that cleaned up. It's uh, truck's been strapped together. It's towed out of here. Now we just got to make sure we can get the bridge. Uh, we know what's going to go out the bridge electrical systems and hopefully get traffic moving soon. Perfect. Thank you very much. Bart Teresa again with Washout. Again, they still don't have a time on when they're going to get all of this uh, testing done. So the delays continue. We talked to Washington State Patrol. They say the cause of this crash was speed. The driver was simply going too fast and he went about 300 feet on its side. And then that's finally when the vehicle uh, ended up blocking all three lanes of I-5 South here at the Interstate Bridge. Again, the closure remains in place. We're going to be here. I've tweeted aloud, out a lot of pictures on coin.com, and so you can read the full story and see all the pictures and video. We'll send it back to you. All right.